Today I'm doing a lookbook from my capsule wardrobe for May using a subset of the capsule wardrobe that I put together. Capsule wardrobe I'll put up here somewhere. Anyway, I hope you're all well. Thank you for coming back to see me. Thank you for coming back to see what I've been wearing for the month. And I hope because I actually concentrated on this sort of subset. So it's a caplet. I'd say a caplet of the capsule. So going through these, I will just show you what I have, wo have worn. And then, then halfway through the video, or on the latter part of the video, is actually going to be a lookbook of the outfits. And hopefully um, that will just be a little bit more interesting than the way I normally do it. So I'll be interested to know your feedback, whether you like that, what, that the way I presented it this time. So we'll go through the outfits or go through the items and show you. There'll also be where I can find a similar or the same item uh, still available. I will link it down below. So if you open up Show More, I will have some links to some items because you've asked for links as well. So I will, so let's just get on with it. So I have worn leggings, which I haven't got here. There was one outfit with leggings, navy pair of leggings, but the jeans I've worn have been Marks and Spencer's mum jeans. And these, these are in the light wash. And I have been told that a light wash is not called indigo, but actually Marks and Spencer's do say theirs are called light indigo. So that's where I've got it from. But these are a light wash or a light indigo, whichever you prefer. Mum jeans. Uh, or the dark indigo jeans that I'm wearing in the outfits are these ones that are my and or jeans that I get from John Lewis. And they're, they're for London and Los Angeles, I don't know. Um, but uh, I will link those as well. Love those jeans. I have this, that's my second pair. I have just, um, I, I bought some about three or four years ago. Absolutely love them. Just wanted a slightly higher rise this year. So bought, bought myself another pair just to be a bit more, because um, a low rise doesn't feel right now, especially with my stomach. The reason I like these and or jeans, I just think they, I think they have a great boyfriend shape. And so where I'm struggling to find boyfriend jeans or a, a straight jean that's slightly loose, but I don't want a mum be wearing a mum jean, I found these really fit the bill. So absolutely love those. Another pair of jeans that I wore, slightly cropped Marks and Spencer's jeans that I bought four or five years ago, and they are just labelled straight jeans. These are a light indigo wash, light indigo, light wash jean. And if they are still available, I'll link them down below. But last time I looked, I couldn't quite see them. But let me see if they're there. Open up, show more. You'll find them. But I do love those. Also did wear, but it's actually not showing in any of the looks, but I did, in order to keep warm, because this colour, this is a scarf that I got from a curateur box, you know, uh, Rachel Zoe's box of style, now curateur. Now the scarf, it was not so much, well, yeah, it, it was the odd chilly afternoon or chilly time outside. So that's why, you know, I, I, I selected this scarf from, from my collection of scarves. And I thought it just went very, very well with, if you look, you know, with these, there we go, if I put it on top there. There you go. Can you see? Goes very well with these colours. So that was a useful, uh, that was a useful scarf just to have available. Tops wise, a camel jumper. This one is Kettlewell colours, not available anymore. But just a camel jumper if you've got one in your in your cupboard. You know, that's versatile item. So that was worn quite a bit. A grey cardigan was worn quite a bit. This is quite long and it has pockets. This is Mango. Love these cardigans from Mango. Absolutely love them. I think they're Mango Basics. Yeah, Mango Basics. But I find these basics in some of these brands actually better than the other stuff. I wore this top from Jules quite a bit. American Friends. American Friends do not switch off. Jules is a British brand. Yes. Jules is on our high street or some of our high streets. Yes. But you can get jewels in the US. And I have linked down below some striped tops with designs and, and florals on. This exact one is not available. This is a couple of years old, but there are similar. I've put a selection down below for my UK and US audience. I haven't found jewels anywhere else. It may be other places as well, but I have certainly found a website in the States. And I, I do realize that some people don't like florals and this does have florals on it. I, I like that. I think it breaks up the stripe, but there are options with um, bees on or with a, so it's not a floral, it's an abstract or it's a, a bee or something else, you know? So there's a selection down below of florals and big florals, small florals, or other types of um, 
detail that goes across the stripe. I think it makes the stripe a lot, a bit more interesting. Then I did wear my Kettlewell Colours jacket. Again, not available, and I won't be able to link anything like this available, but it's a, just a little cropped, well, waist, waist length really, hip length jacket with a collar uh, and poppers rather than buttons or a zip or anything. So it's actually a very casual ja uh, jacket, but yes, that I did get used from this month so far. So I'm pleased actually, uh, I am actually finding a use for it because that's one that I wore a lot for work and now want to migrate it to wearing from home. And it's been in a capsule a couple of times before and I didn't quite get around to wearing it. Anyway, I did, yes, it worked this time. The pink hoodie I wore a fair bit. Absolutely perfect for, for going out in, being seen out. You know, everyone's outside eating and drinking. They expect you to wrap up. They're expecting you to wrap up and not go out looking like a, a designer catwalk model. And a, you know, a nice attractive hoodie I really felt fitted the bill. So I did wear this quite a bit. I wore my American Eagle cardigan once so far. So uh, I'll try and wear it again. I wore it with mum jeans, wasn't quite so keen on that. I think I want my mum jeans to have a, a longer top with them. This made me look a bit hippie because this top was cropped against a mum jean, which is already wide around the hips. I felt that's not really, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna show you the look in the lookbook, but that's not my favorite. I would rather style this, this cardigan and the mum jeans in a different way. So I'm gonna, I'll have another go in the second half of the month with this trying it in a different outfit style. My absolutely gorgeous, and I can't link this either because it's it's a few years old, from Loft. I bought it in America, in Washington from Loft, and it's the, you know, it's a Lou and Gray um, brand, just striped, sort of, a, it's not, not what sort of material it is even actually, it's not knitted, it's not linen, um, it's not stretchy, but it is a really nice casual nautical striped jacket. I just, it was one of my best, better buys from the States and I have just worn it so much in the years I've since. I, I wore it a lot last year. You've seen it in lookbooks before. Anyway, I wore it again this time. I wore it actually very differently this time. I tried it this time with a camisole underneath. Well, actually, I'll tell you a secret. If, you, if I was doing this properly and going out, it would have been, actually, I did go out, went down to the garage. I had to take my car in for an MOT. Anyway, between you and me, I actually only had a bra on underneath it. But if I was actually gonna wear it out to a bar or pub or shopping or something like that, where I'm gonna be out for a long time, definitely I'll put a camisole. I just didn't think of it. I just thought, okay, I'm just gonna shove this on, wear this today, put a belt around it, because I did. I wore, I wore it belted, felt that really covered me up. And it did, it did cover me up. But if I was gonna be sitting outside for a couple of hours, maybe it would start to come a bit undone. So a camisole really should have been underneath it. But for being at home and just taking the car down for an MOT, it was fine. I used my Marks and Spencers belt, the waist belt, that uh, keep looking at the website. I mean, I've got it linked down below. If you see it out of stock in your size, when I first looked for this, it was out of stock, then it came back in again, out, stock, in again, you know, that's how Marks and Spencers is. So uh, keep looking, but, and I would also say, if you're gonna go for this waist belt, go up a size, because I've got the small, uh, yeah, the small, I'm a size 10. I can only do it up. I can do it up on the last two buttons. There's all of that, four buttons there, five, four, four buttons there to spare. Goodness knows, I mean, the waist sizes that's gonna fit that, <laughs> I don't know, I really don't know. But um, uh, if I went up a size to the medium, I would then have been able to use these these buttons as um, holes as well. I don't feel it would have been too big if I'd gone up to a medium. And uh, it may be that for some people, actually your own size using just these two buttons, you might feel a bit too tight. I don't think you lose anything by going up a size and having these four buttons available, <laughs> buttons, these four holes available. So that's why I would say go up a size, but I love the belt. So I tried that with the, um, in the lookbook, you'll see that I tried that with that. I'm really pleased with it. That was another way of using this 
that I've um, you know I've had in my wardrobe for quite a, quite quite a while, and making it a, a, a 2021 2021 look. I also one did I did use my Zara Basics Basics again Zara Basics this time a striped shirt that is X Work or X Office and used this again modernizing it for 2021. So a few outfits using this, using um, coming up with some current looks. In one, I actually have this hanging loose, so the tail's hanging loose, and I have that sweater over the top of it, showing the the collar, the cuffs, and the tail. And that look worked quite well. So that's in the lookbook coming up. And I wore a black sweater as well. I also wore my camo. Let me just go and get that. It's not here. I'm back. I had to go running off to go and get some, get my uh, coats and jackets and things. So uh, I wore my camo jacket and I will link down below one from Marks and Spence. It's quite similar. I know you, you're buying that up. You're, you're loving that. If I can find this one as well, which is not Marks and Spence's, it's a, it's a boutique brand. I will link that as well. And also I wore quite a lot. I mean, as you, as you can imagine in the UK, May has been very rainy. And so I look out the window now, there it is pouring, absolutely pouring at the moment. So uh, this raincoat has been a very useful, but I've worn it in stylish ways, I think. You let me know what you think. I think I have used it in, as well as being practical, it has been stylish. Anyway, this is Marks and Spencer's and I have linked a similar one down below, but I bought this. This is actually in a petite size and so it fits me, fits me absolutely perfectly lengthwise and around because at the time when they were doing petites, or last, when I bought this, their petite sizes really were petite. So um, yeah, very much. That was an investment piece. I mean, it wasn't expensive, but it has lasted me so long. I bought this must be about five or six years ago, but they are still doing raincoats, very similar, and I will link them down below. That's an international link as well. You, you, Canada, Australia, France, Ireland. Then shoes. I'll show you the shoes that I wore. These I bought last year from Marks and Spencers, and similar are still available. These appear. These are white little white trainers. And what's nice about these is they're not chunky. So you're not looking like you're trying to look like your 16-year-old daughter or 16-year-old granddaughter. No, they. These are a nice, elegant white trainer. I think very suitable for me and for petites also. And the other shoes that appear, a lot of these Toms that I got in my Stitch Fix box. I have put these similar Toms, these Toms canvas Applegate, Applegate um, canvas shoes into my Amazon store. So if you open up Show More, you'll find my Amazon store, go onto the clothes um, section, you will find a selection of the canvas, Toms canvas shoes as well. What I would say about these is that these are my exact size, they're a size three. When I first got them, they were tight and I had to use a shoehorn to actually get them on. But once they're on my foot, they're really comfortable. And I wore these out on a shopping trip, walking around town, um, actually all day, all day walking. Cause I did two trips out, walking for both trips a long time. So I've worn them in and they're absolutely, they feel tight at first, but once, once I'd worn them in, I've not had blisters and I haven't been wearing socks. So I've not, they've not rubbed it at all. They are really comfortable, but they just are tight at first, but I have loosened up and I am really enjoying wearing these. They were so comfortable and I think really stylish as well. So how I've worn these clothes, right. Coming right up now.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that lookbook and I will see you all in another outfit.